So today I'm going to be showing you a full wash day routine. You can see here that I'm making a deep conditioning mask. I'm going to be using Bell Bar Organic Coconut Hibiscus Deep Conditioner. And I'm going to be putting three teaspoons of the powder. And then I'm going to mix it with two tablespoons of hot water. And I'm just going to stir this until it's completely smoothed out without any lumps. Next, I'm going to be cutting up half of an avocado. And I like to dice mine up so they're already in smaller pieces. It makes it a lot easier to blend. I just take a whisk and mash it down as much as possible. And then I try to smooth it out for an even consistency. Here I'm adding the Bell Bar Organic Mask. I'm gonna stir that up, mix it up really well. Then I'm gonna be adding this deep conditioner from Shea Moisture, and it's gonna be the Jamaican Black Castor Oil. Now I don't have a set preference for how much I put in. I just kinda eyeball it until I feel like it's a thick enough consistency. And I would like to note that this is a mask for two people. This might be a bit much for one person. Last but not least, I'm gonna be adding some castor oil until I feel that it gives it a nice consistency. Again, I'm just gonna mix it up all nice and blended. Okay, we're all done and this is what it looks like. Let's hop in the shower now. So this is my hair after about five days of styling. It's been down, it's been up, and it is definitely ready to get washed. First, I'm just gonna soak my hair, and I have low porosity hair, so it does take a while for it to get thoroughly through my hair. Next, I'm going to be shampooing my scalp with this Shea Moisture Lush Length Shampoo. I'm just going to use a little bit at a time, putting this in my hand and then lathering it up and just going directly onto my scalp with it. I make sure to thoroughly cleanse my scalp because a healthy scalp means healthy hair. Here, I am just rinsing that out, making sure that all of the shampoo is out of my hair. And now it's time to deep condition. Again, I'm gonna be using small amounts and sections of my hair to make sure that everything is coated thoroughly. My hair is super tangled right now, so this took a bit longer than it normally does. Before I run my tangle teaser through my hair, I always try to finger detangle as much as possible, especially in my problem areas, which tend to be in the under part of my hair. And then here I have just detangled my hair with the tangle teaser. As you can see, everything is thoroughly coated and very detangled. So now I'm just gonna section my hair into two and brush it back out of my face. Here I am taking that first section and braiding it up. That way it stays detangled while I deep condition. And I'm just gonna repeat the same process on the other side. This is about how much hair I lost in the detangling process. This is freshly out of the shower. Before I rinsed everything out, I did leave the deep conditioner on for about an hour. And I also did use a hot cap to really penetrate the hair. This is my hair freshly rinsed, no product. And I'm just gonna section it off so that I can start styling. I will be using my tried and true Natty Naturals Leave-In Conditioner. I really rake this product through to make sure that everything is moisturized. After using my hands to get it through my hair, I am also going to be taking this Tangle Teaser and brushing it out one last time. I then take the sealant butter, also from Natty Naturals, and I put that on to really seal in that moisture and make sure that nothing gets dry. Now that all the products on my hair, I'm going to braid this section up and get to the next one. From here on out, I'll be repeating the same process throughout my head.
So this top section is the section that I need to part and some of the hair is kind of over on the other side. So I'm going to take out this braid on the other side so that I avoid pulling my hair out while I'm trying to part it. Then I'm just going to put the other side back up so it's out of my way and finish up this other side. Here is half of my head completely finished. Now let's get started on the other side. Okay, now both sides are done and I am ready to put on my silk bonnet. And I'm gonna sleep just like this. <laughs> okay, so this is the next day. This is what my hair is looking like. When I took out the braids, they were still a little wet, so I did blow dry some, but this is what it is looking like. And I am going to lay my baby hairs a little bit so it just looks a little bit more neat right here. So let's do that. Okay, edges laid. If you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. I really hope this video was helpful to you. Don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and share with anybody who you think this might be helpful. All right, see you next time.